Welcome everyone to another very exciting series of epic races. Today's video will feature gigantically huge splashes because of the fact that our race will be held on a gigantically ginormous downhill water ramp. So be prepared for big splashes, some crashes, a few passes, and just epic awesomeness. Which one of these racers will be the fastest to win this fantastic and epic race? Go ahead and stay tuned to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, racing fans alike, I present to you to this fantastic race that will be set on a downhill water ramp. Today's races will feature this awesome launcher, which will propel our racers down this gigantic ramp. Each race will feature 10 racers who will go barreling down this ramp towards the finish line. The racer that crosses the finish line first will be the winner of that round. We will have 10 rounds with 10 racers per round which will equal 100 racers in total. Now, we will also have an 11th round with all the winners of the past races. That way we will find out who will be the grand champion. Our racers for this first round are Dino Drafsky, Parker Brakeston, Barry DePost, Ponchi Wipeout, and Lightning McQueen. Up next is Richie Gunzen, Todd Marcus, Conrad Camber, and Flipped Over. Lastly, we'll have another car that we'll be reviewing in today's video. Here's what others from the series look like on the back. And now over here we can see him in his full glory with a beautiful picture right there on the front. Here's what he looks like in that packaging. Now let's go ahead and get him out. I present to you, Ponchi Wipeout. Racing with the number 90 and sponsored by Bumper Safe, his main colors are red, white, and blue. But he does have some yellow right there on the front and back of him. Here's what he is compared to the original Ponchi Wipeout. As you can see, the original does not have as much yellow. Which version of Ponchi Wipeout happens to be your favorite? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Here we have all of our racers lined up and ready to race. Now let's go ahead and get them into position. And all of our racers are off at full speed ahead. Oh no, it looks like Richie guns it and Barry to pedal get stuck behind at the beginning. Let's go ahead and check out our next replay. There's Todd Marcus going from side to side, knocking into Parker Brakeston, who knocks into Dino Drafsky. Let's go ahead and check out our air replay just to watch that action again from a better angle. On the far side, we have Ponchi Wipeout, Parker Brakeston, and Dino Drafsky. Whoa! Huge contact between Todd Marcus and Parker Brakeston, who bumps into Dino Drafsky, which spins him around 360 style. The number 121 now pumping on his brakes, which gives someone else the chance to steal first position. Looks like it's Parker Brakeston. No, it's at the last second. It's Ponchi Wipeout who crosses the finish line first, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, what an amazing turn of events as all the racers crash into the pool. Let's check out the last replay to watch that action one last time. There goes Ponchi Wipeout crossing the finish line, followed by Lightning McQueen and Parker Brakeston as all the other cars come piling into the pool. Now let's go ahead and get out our third place winner out of the pool, which happens to be Parker Brakeston. And now working on our second place winner, we have Lightning McQueen. And then the awesome one, the one in first place. Our first position winner is Ponchi Wipeout. He gets to move up to our finalists. Congratulations! And in our second race, we have Marcus Krangsler, Ryan Shields, Chase Racelet, Johnny Blamer, and Lightning McQueen. And then we have Michael Rodor with Rich Mixon. And then next up, we have Bubba Wheelhouse. And then it looks like it's Dirksten D'Agostino. In here we have a very special car that's still wrapped up inside its packaging. Here we can see that it's a very special Radiator Springs edition of the car. And then here he is what he looks like inside that packaging and then he has a very beautiful picture. Let's go ahead and get him out. I present to you Antonio Veloce Excelente. He's a very nice looking sedan with the main color being white. It also seems like he's based off the Maserati line of cars in real life. Now let's go ahead and start racing. And our racers are off with all of them looking like they're clumping together right there on the left side and oh my goodness it's all over so fast. Let's watch the next replay to find out what just happened. And here we have Marcus Krangsler pulling up into view and then oh no it looks like he bounced off of someone right there. I'm quite sure who it was. Let's check out our error replay to watch that action again. 
And with our race just getting underway, it looks like most of our racers are starting out side by side. Whoa, lots of contact coming up there on the left side. Whoa, huge! The big one just happening. And then, whoa, up there in the front, it looks like we have Marcus Krangsler making a huge lead for himself. And then it looks like there's Johnny Blamer coming up in second position. And then here come the rest of the cars all in that big huge pile up as they all fall into the water. Whoa, my goodness. Let's go ahead and watch out that next replay for the final look at it. There goes Marcus Krangsler, followed by, whoa, it looks like it was Johnny Blamer that just hit that shark head on. And then a huge bunch of racers that fell in after it. Now let's go ahead and fish out our first place winner. It looks like it was the number six, Marcus Krangsler. Congrats for moving forward to our final match. Now let's move on to our third race. First up we have Luis Nash, then Andrew Vrooman, then Hot Rod Jr. Moon, then we have Fabulous Lightning McQueen. Next up we have River Scott, and then we have Smokey, followed by Jet Robinson. Then we have Leroy Hemming, and then we have another version of River Scott back in his heyday. And then our last racer is a very special car from Radiator Spring Series. Here's what he looks like in the packaging, and here's a really nice picture of him on the front. Let's go ahead and get him out. I present to you Doc Hudson. With his main color being blue, and the words Hornet printed on both sides of him, Doc Hudson is based off of the 1951 Hudson Hornet in real life. Now let's go ahead and get these racers lined up and ready to go. And straight out of the gate, it looks like we got lots of action going around with cars going which way and that. Let's go ahead and check out the next replay. Here we have Doc Hudson swerving in front of River Scott, the number 34, trying to get around him. Whoa, some airtime with the Hudson Hornet right there. And Doc Hudson goes splashing into the pool at the end there. Let's go ahead and check out our aerial replay just to watch that action again. And straight out of the gate, it looks like Fabulous Lane McQueen's having some trouble there. And now we have River Scott, the number 34, pushing the number 300 way over onto the right side. And oh my goodness, the number 300's gone over the edge and fallen completely off the track. Andrew Vrooman's now completely turned around to watch that action as Luis Nash crosses the finish line to stay determined for a second position. Now let's go ahead and check out our final replay to see who won. So here we go across the finish line first, it's Doc Hudson going straight into the pool followed by Luis Nash and a bunch of other of our racers all piling into the pool. Now let's go ahead and check on the number 300 who's way back over here, Leroy Hemming. And now, back here at the pool, let's go ahead and fish out our first place winner. We have the legendary Hudson Hornet, Doc Hudson. Congratulations for moving forward to the final match. And now let's go ahead and move on to our fourth race, which will mostly feature cars from the Thunder Hollow series of racers. Moving from left to right, I present Broadside, Pile Up, High Impact, Pushover, Todd, Chester Whipplefilter, Francis Beltrine, Taco, and then T-Bone. And then we also have a very special car right along over here that looks like he's from the cotton pin set of cars. Over here on the front, we can see the very nice picture of him and him inside the packaging. Let's go ahead and get him out, that way we can review him further. I present to you, Bill Revs. With his main colors being orange with a brown wood on both sides of him, it looks like he's based off the real life car, the station wagon. Now let's go ahead and start racing. And there they go, but it looks like a lot of our racers had some trouble starting out there, and oh my goodness, T-Bone got left behind. Let's go ahead and watch that second replay to watch it again. And from what we can see here, it looks like Broadside is making a gigantic lead for himself, and boom, he goes into the water like a torpedo. Let's watch the aerial replay. And right off the bat, it looks like it's Francis Beltrine busting into first position. I can't really see what happens there because she goes out of view, but oh no, it looks like she starts skidding out, leaving way for Broadside to take up first position. Behind him, it looks like it's the number 12. Still far behind because Broadside has a huge lead. And there they go, one racer after the other, all piling into the water. Man, I really do hope that all these cars can swim. And if they can't, help will arrive shortly. Now let's go ahead and watch the final replay. 
there goes Broadside in the pool like a torpedo, followed by the camera and lots of other cars all piling into the pool one by one. And then, oh my god, whoa, there goes Chester Wibblefilter almost flipping out over the track before he's able to reach the water. And then way back here on the track, there's Todd. Now let's go ahead and get our winner out of the pool. Here he is, I present to you, Broadside, the first position racer. Congratulations, we're moving to the final round. See you shortly. And now moving on to our fifth race, which will feature Piston Cup racers. I present to you Darren Leadfoot, JD McPillar, Speedy Comet, Sage Vanderspin, Jackson Storm. Then we have Terry Cargas, Danico Cruz Ramirez, Brian Spark, Dud Throttleman. And then we have another car that's still up here in its packaging. Here on the back, we see other cars of the same series, and it looks like he's also a Piston Cup racer. Going around, we see an awesome picture of him, and here he is in the packaging for those of you that like to collect him. Now let's go ahead and get him out of the packaging to review him further. I present to you, Carl Clutchin. Racing with the number 15 and sponsored by Easy Idol, his main colors are blue and white. Do you happen to know which movie Carl Clutchin was featured in? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Now let's start racing. And our racers are up at full speed and whoa, lots of contact there in the middle and lots of twists and turns. Let's go ahead and check out the next replay to see that action again. There goes the number 33 making contact with the number 80 in the middle there, spinning him around completely backwards along with other racers making contact. I don't even know who won. Let's go ahead and check out the error replay to watch that action again from a better view. And straight out of the gate, it looks like it's Jackson Storm taking first position. Whoa, the number 52 barrels into the number 15. And there goes Darren Leafwood clipping, just barely clipping Jackson Storm, which spins him around sideways, which makes him lose the lead. And there goes the number 31 hitting in the Jackson Storm again. Jackson Storm is getting beaten around. And then, oh my goodness, there goes the, there they go across the finish line. I didn't even see who won this action. It's just so amazing. We need to check out that last replay to watch who won. So here they come. It looks like it's number 33 followed by the number 31. And then Jackson Storm followed by Darren Leafwood along with other racers just piling into the pool. Now let's go ahead and find our first position racer in the pool and fish him out of it. That's not him, that's Jackson Storm. He was in third position. But here he is, Dud Throttleman, ladies and gentlemen. Give a round of applause for him. Congratulations for moving forward to the final match. For our sixth round, we have Radiator Springs cars starting with Flo, Snick Stickers, Ramon, Sheriff, Sally, White Wall Tires like McQueen, Sarge, Fillmore, and Toe Mater. And then lastly, we have a car over here that's still in his packaging. Here we can see other cars of the series. It looks like it's a Radiator Spring Series car. Here on the front, we see an amazing picture of him with him right here in the packaging. Let's go ahead and get him out. I present to you Edwin Cranks. His main colors happen to be green and black with some like striped black designs on him. It looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and set him down and begin racing. And our racers are off at full speed head. Oh my goodness, if we look over to the right, we'll see Nick's stickers falling completely behind. Let's go ahead and check out that next replay to watch that action again. And there is Sheriff barreling in first position, just going at full speed ahead across that finish line. Oh my goodness, I don't know who just won. We need to check out that error replay to make sure. And straight out of the gate, it looks like it's Sarge who's pulling into that first position, quickly followed by what looks like Ramon in second position and then Sally in third. For fourth position, it looks like it's Edwin Shanks battling it out with White Wall Tires, Lightning McQueen. Oh my goodness, the green car is pushing Lightning McQueen over to the side. Oh my goodness, almost off of the track there as they cross that finish line. Let's check out that very last replay so that way we know who won this race. Here it is. As they come, oh my goodness, it looks like it was the Sheriff followed by Ramon and Sally and then Edwin Shanks and Lightning McQueen. Where are the rest of our racers who are not in the pool? Here we have them, way back here, it looks like it was Sarge with then Fillmore, Mater, and Flo, and Nick Stickers. And then here in the pool we have our winner, the Sheriff. Congratulations for moving forward to the next match. Now let's go ahead and get started with our seventh race, featuring more Piston Cup racers. First up is Phil Tankson, then we have Eric Breaker, Rusty's Cruz Ramirez, 
Murray Clutchburn, H.J. Hollis, Ed Trunkin, Ralph Carlo, Floyd Mulvihill, Bobby Swift, and then we have a very special car that's still wrapped up in its packaging. Here are more Dynaco 400 racers on the back because he's from the Dynaco 400 series. Here he is on the front with an amazing picture. Let's go ahead and get him out. I present to you Marlon Clutches McKay. He's a security slash official car from the Cars 3 Dynaco 400 race. Here we see him in his full glory. Let's go ahead and set him down and start racing. And our racers are off at full speed ahead. Whoa, there's lots of contact there on the left side. Let's go ahead and watch that action again. And I'm looking towards the exterior wall with a big grouping of cars just piled together. And then we have the number 92, Murray Clutchburn, just going for it, just creating a huge lead. Let's go ahead and check out the arrow replay to watch the action again. And immediately starting off our race, we have Marlon Clutchburn McKay ramming into the number 117, spinning him backwards. And then we have the number 70 and 19 pushing each other towards the exterior wall. Oh my goodness, whoa, huge contact with the exterior wall between those racers as they flip up onto the railing, just riding it across the finish line. And here come our other racers right behind them as they cross the finish line as well. I didn't even see who won, so we need to check out the final replay to watch it and find out. And there it is, folks. It was the number 92, Murray Clutchburn in first position, followed by a bunch of other racers. Here they come as they cross the finish line. It looks like it was Rusty's Cruiser Ramirez in last position there. Now let's go ahead and find our first position racer. Here he is, the number 92, Murray Clutchburn. Congratulations for moving on to our next match. For our eighth race, we have racers from the Rusty's Racing Center. Starting with Strayram, Trainer Cruz Ramirez, Rusty's Racing Center, Lightning McQueen, Sterling, Sudeep, Ronald, Gabriel, Tom, Kurt, and a very special Dynaco 400 racer. Here he is with a picture of him on the front there. Let's go ahead and get him out. I present to you James Clean Air. Racing with the number 61 and sponsored by Vita Lean, his main colors are green and white. Now let's go ahead and put him down, that way we can get started with our race. And there go our racers full speed ahead, and then, and, oh my goodness it looks like someone just fell off the track! We need to check out that next replay to watch that action again. Here we have our Vitaline racer and Shriram squaring off to see who will take first position. And oh my goodness, it was too close to call. We need to watch the error replay to find out. And with our racers just starting off this race, it looks like trainer Cruz Ramirez is trying to fit through that hole between two of the racing trainees, but she just can't seem to get through. And then up there at the front, it looks like we have our number 61, our Vitaline racer, racing against Shriram. But oh my goodness, it looks like it was so close to call, I can't judge who won just yet. Because both Shriram and the Vitaline racer, it looks like they crossed the finish line at the exact same time. So we need to check out our final replay just to see who won. Here it comes now, and it was Shriram by a hair! Oh my goodness, look at that instant replay! And then here come all of our other racers piling into the pool one after the other. There's Lightning McQueen, and then here comes the rest of them, and there's Trainer Cruz Ramirez, and, and oh, there goes Gabriel into the pool, just barely trying to hold on. Now let's go ahead and find our first position racer, Shriram, and here he is, ladies and gentlemen, our first place winner! And then let's go ahead and find James Clean Air, our Vitaline racer, who was very close. Congratulations, Shriram, to moving to our final match. For our ninth race, we have Doc Hudson, Cal Weathers, Ponchy Wipeout, Jackson Storm, Chip Gearings, Reb Meeker, Lightning McQueen, Parker Brakeson, Herb Kerbler, and then we have another very special racer from Doc's Racing Days series. Let's go ahead and take a look on the front. Here we have a really awesome picture of him, and here he is in the packaging for those of you that like to collect him. Let's go ahead and get him out of it, so that way we can review him further. I present to you, Slim Hood. Racing with the number 9, and his main color being a lightish blue, we can see that he's sponsored by Sludge. It looks like it's some sort of drink for the cars. Let's go ahead and compare Slim Hood to Thomasville racing legend Cal Weathers. Both of them have the same paint style and color, except for Cal Weathers having the white roof. And both of them are sponsored by Sludge. 
the soda that all the cars drink. Which one do you like better? Go ahead and let me know. And our racers are off at full speed ahead with lots of contact there. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it looks like some of our racers fell off the track there. We need to check out the next replay to watch that action again. And there's the fabulous Lightning McQueen going from side to side along with the number 9. And oh, there they go over the edge. We need to check out our error replay just to watch that again. And quickly starting off our race, it looks like it's a bit of a rough start for the number 2.0. Jackson Storm back there who's fallen quickly behind in the fourth position. And then up in the front, it looks like it's the number 54 and 36 that are battling it out. No, it's Herb Kerbler going for first position. And there go three of our racers over the edge. Oh my goodness, what a very exciting race that we're having here. And then there goes Doc Hudson into the pool, followed by some other racers as well. Is, I hope that they are okay. We need to check out our last replay. There goes Herb Kerbler at first position. And then we have Ponchi Wipeout and Parker Brakeston splashing into the pool, followed by Doc Hudson. And then last position, we have Jackson Storm. Now let's go ahead and find our first position racer. Where is he? Oh no, let's go ahead and check up on our racer that fell off the track. There they are. I hope that they're okay. And now here is our first position racer, Herb Kerbler. Congratulations on moving forward to the final match. For our 10th race, we will feature cars from the World Grand Prix, starting with Miguel Camino, Francesco Berenelli, Max Schnell, Lightning McQueen, Lewis Hamilton, and then we have more racers such as Shu Todoroki, Raul Carroll, Carlo Veloso, Rip Klutchkonski. And then over here, we have another racer from the World Grand Prix. I wonder who it is. Let's go ahead and flip him around. Here he is, with a really awesome picture on the front there, and then here's what he looks like in the packaging. Let's go ahead and get him out. I present to you, Cruz Besuro. His main colors are green with a little bit of yellow, and he has really awesome designs on both sides of him. He also has the number 8 painted on him. He just so happens to be the crew chief for the Brazilian racer Carla Veloso. Let's get ready to race and find out who will win. And our racers are off at full speed. Whoa, it looks like some of our racers got turned around. Let's go ahead and check out that action again with our next replay. And from what we can see, it looks like it's Max Schnell who's taking the lead. Here he comes closer up to the camera. And then, whoa, oh my goodness, it looks like he just hit a shark. Let's go ahead and watch the error replay just to watch it again. And starting off our race, it looks like Lightning McQueen isn't doing so well. He's in last position, but no, it looks like he's pushing around Cruz Basuto, which puts him in last position instead. And then Rip Klutschkowski, oh my goodness, there he goes. He just lost the battle with Carlo Veloso after some unknown force propelled him backwards. Raul Carroll spun around to see the action behind him. Let's go ahead and watch our final replay to see who won. And there it is, folks. Max Schnell crossed the finish line first after hitting into that shark. And whoa, there goes Lenny McQueen flipping head over heels across the finish line. What just happened there? And then there's Rip Klutschkonski crossing the finish line after that unknown force propelled him backwards. Where is our winner? Here he is, our first position racer, Max Schnell. Congratulations for moving forward to the Grand Championship round. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, racing fans alike. I present to you all of the cars that have participated in today's races, but only a select few of them have moved forward to the Grand Championship round. And here they are, our 10 finalists, who are ready to race and see who will win the trophy. We have Sheriff, Shriram, Max Schnell, Murray Clutchburn, Ponchi Wipeout, Doc Hudson, Marcus Krangsler, Dud Throttleman, Herb Kerbler, and Broadside. Let's race! <laughs> And there they go off into the distance, and oh my goodness, it looks like someone just fell off the track. We need to watch our next replay to watch that action again. And from the looks of it, it looks like Broadside is having a battle with Max Schnell, and oh no, Ponchi Wipeout hits Broadside, which makes him lose that battle that he was having with Max Schnell. And now let's check out our error replay to watch that action from a different angle. And at the very start of our race, it looks like Doc Hudson's having some trouble back there, falling into last position. And here comes Ponchi Wipeout sliding right into Broadside, and then 
Whoa, it looks like Herb Kerbler dodges that gigantic battle. And will he be able to catch up with Max Schnell, though? Let's find out. Whoa, no, it looks like he gets hit and spins around backwards. And then, oh my goodness, he falls into the pool with a big, huge splash. We need to check out our final replay to see who won. And there goes Max Schnell flying in between the fins of the shark. Oh my goodness, that looked like a field goal. And then here comes more of our racers. Slowly the number 92 falls into the pool. And then boom, someone just hit a shark. I wasn't able to see who it was. And then let's go ahead and find our winner of this race, of this grand championship round. Now let's go ahead and find our winner. Where is he? Is that him? No, that's not it. And then, oh, that, no, that's Broadside right there. We're looking for Max Schnell. Where is he? There he is. There's Max Schnell, winner of the grand championship round. Here are all the cars that participated in today's race, but there can only be one winner, and that winner is right along over here, and that is Max Schnell, the number four racer and representative of Germany. Congratulations to winning the trophy, and congrats to our second and third place winners as well. And now let's give a huge congratulations and round of applause to all of the racers that participated in today's races. Here are all the cars that we reviewed in today's video, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. First up, we have Ponchi Wipeout. Then we have Marlon Clutches McKay, Doc Hudson, James Clean Air, Bill Revs, and then all the way down here we have Carl Clutchton, and then we have Cruz Besuro, and then next up we have Slim Hood, and then we have Antonio Veloce Excelente. And then lastly, we have Edwin Cranks. Which of these racers was your favorite? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And that concludes this awesomely spectacular set of races. Which racer was your favorite? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. You can either leave the name or number. And thank you everyone for watching today's video. I hope that you all thoroughly enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and remember to share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out other videos on this channel for more exciting tournaments. And in the meantime, keep racing!